Hey everyone, my name is Gina Jemsicle and today in our Let's Play we're going to concentrate on the Raiders of the Lost Artifacts quest. So this quest unlocks at level 10, there's a time limit of 2 days and the prize is a treasure chest. So it says, complete this quest in the time limit to gain access to the mysterious island's treasure chest, as I have just said. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do. The first thing we need to do is go to the mysterious island. The bridge is done. Full steam ahead to the mysterious island. To travel to the island, tap on the bridge icon on your town map. So here is the bridge icon. So let's go ahead and click on it now. There we go. Task complete. We have made our way over to the mysterious island. Next thing, tap on a monument. Wow, what a beautiful place. There are ancient ruins all over the place. Tap on the ruins closest to the bridge. So that ruins is this one here. Let's go ahead and tap on that. There we go. Task complete. So we get so we get a little pop-up here where you have to collect items through doing everyday tasks with your Sims. And so as it says, build this monument to give your sims a chance to gain 100 bonus simoleons after doing simoleon generating actions, such as gardening, baking and working. So we will collect those items as we go along. The next thing, read the big book of stuff. I think these are the ruins of an impressive monument. From the looks of it, it had magical qualities for creating wealth. Your sim should rebuild it. Simply find all of the missing pieces and put them back together. First, you might need to learn a little about archaeology though. Read the big book of stuff. Note, you can find the big book of stuff in any bookshelf, available from the living room section of the home store. So let's go ahead and we'll just click on Green Eyed Gemsicle. Oh, they're all currently trying to complete the, um, what is it called? Uh, long hair, the long hair limited time quest thingamabob. I don't think I've got a bookshelf in any of my homes, to be honest. Let's go ahead and look in Green Eye Gemsicles. No, she hasn't got a bookshelf, so we're going to have to go and buy a bookshelf. So, where was it? Living room? Um, where's living room? This one. So we'll try to buy a more expensive one. The more stars, if you don't know already, the more stars an item has, the quicker you complete things. So we'll get this elegant bookshelf, which, to be honest, I don't particularly like. But it's a two star. So we'll go ahead and we will buy that. And we will bring over Green Eyed Gemsicle, I think, and start this quest off. I think we will add a new sim to the town during this quest. So I'll go ahead and have a little look at your comments about who you have suggested that I should add to the town. But for now, let's just start with Green Eyed Gemsicle. Big Walker stuff takes 21 hours and 30 minutes. I hope there's not too many other tasks within this quest because. It's only a two day quest and that is almost a day. So anyway, let's go ahead and start that now and I will go and check your comments to see who we can add. I have gone ahead and checked out some of your comments on the previous videos and I have decided on what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and build a new house. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build the... where is it? Let me see. The sci-fi shuttle. Now this costs 33 lifestyle points which is quite a lot but I can afford it at the moment because I've been saving up and gathering lifestyle points since we started this let's play so that's all right it takes two hours to build I'm going to go ahead and build that and I'm going to move Dan TDM into here I was going to try and build Treoris's what's it called um I don't know what he calls it Treoris's lab is it a lab yeah I think they call it Treoris's lab but then I thought no I'm just going to build the sci-fi shuffle Shuffle, the sci-fi shuffle, um, the sci-fi shuttle for now to move Dan TDM in and then I'm going to go ahead and put somebody else and create a new sim and put somebody else where Dan used to live. So let's go ahead and do that for now. Oh no, I viewed it. <laughs> Hang on. Oh anyway, well whilst we're viewing it, this is what it is going to look like. To be honest, I don't think I've ever, and I've never ever built this. It looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go and build that. Do I want to build this house? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, I'm building it there. So that's going to take two hours to do. And then we'll move. The sci-fi shuffle, no, shuttle. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so hard to say. But the sci-fi shuttle is now built. So let's go ahead 
and we will relocate existing sim. We will move, it costs 5,000 to relocate, but that's okay. We will move Dan into there. Check it out. This is pretty cool. To be honest, this house, in terms of the things that are in it, to buy them, it would cost a lot of lifestyle points. So probably the 33 lifestyle points it has cost us to buy the whole lot is definitely worth it. But let's go ahead and we will make our new sim because now we've got a spare house. Well, it's not a house at the moment. It is a fashion designer workshop, but we're gonna add a new sim. And I am gonna add PewDiePie was a request from quite a few of you, but specifically I'd like to just mention it's XOXO, Puppy Love XOXO. She has been a long-standing subscriber, so thank you very much. Why not? There we go. There is PewDiePie Pie. <laughs> he is being added to the town, and he is going to finish off the quest. Although I don't think there's many more things to do on the quest, because, well, we haven't really got time to do them, but let's go ahead and add him now. Add PewDiePie Pie to the town. Yes, please. There he is, in all his glory. <laughs> okay, we'll be back when reading the big book of, what are we doing? The big book of something or other. Big book of stuff. When that is done, we will be back. See you then. Green Eye Gemsicall has finished reading the big book of stuff. The next thing we need to do is leftovers from a fridge. Hey, did you see that? You found an artifact in the encyclopedia. Wow, you didn't even need to dig. Maybe there are more located around the place. Try looking in other random places, such as the fridge. While you're there, enjoy some leftovers. Okay, so we're going to swap over to PewDiePie to do the rest of this quest. He's just doing some fashion design. And which one is he? This one over here. In fact, I'll just go ahead and collect all of them. Might as well. And then... I've got one left in the collection to get and I just can't get it. Infuriating. <laughs> um, but let's go back over where Greedo Gemsicle is and we'll bring PewDiePie over. And go ahead and eat some leftovers from the fridge. That takes 18 seconds. There we go. Task complete. Leftovers from a fridge. The next thing. Search for artifacts in the garbage. Hmm. Nothing left in the fridge. Maybe some of the artifacts were thrown out in the garbage. Search for artifacts in the garbage. To search the garbage, you will first have to have a sim kick the bin over in the front of any sim's house. Okay, so, kick over takes two seconds. We'll just go ahead and collect our daily reward. Oh, it's one, two, six, three now. We don't want that ad, go away. We've kicked over the bin and then, oh, search for artifacts is eight minutes and 30 seconds. <clears throat> PewDiePie has finished searching for artifacts in the garbage. The next thing we need to do is to find the third artifact. Hey, you found one. That's two of the three artifacts needed to build the first monument to level one. They seem to be scattered all over the place. Have sims keep searching for them by doing random actions. Artifacts are found randomly upon completion of any regular sim actions, such as using objects, baking, or gardening. So... Let's just clean that trash up. So for this, you just sort of do any any quick task. You can do some... Let's go ahead and try planting some peppers. See if that helps us. Oh, no, there we go. We found it already. Just by cleaning the trash, we got the third artefact. There we go. All done. Next, upgrade the riches of Terra to level one. Bingo, you found all three artefacts now. That's enough to upgrade the first monument, the Riches of Terror, to level one. Go and do it now. To upgrade a monument, simply tap on its icon and then tap the Build Now button. You can also use lifestyle points to purchase missing resources. Let's head on over to Mysterious Island. And here's the first monument. So it's flashing, so let's go ahead and tick tick tap on it as you can see we've got ticks underneath the um the three items and we can now go ahead and build now there we go we've got it to level one there we go task complete oh and there we go quest complete congratulations you completed the raiders of the lost artifacts quest get out there and explore the island to unlock all of its secrets 
Congratulations, since you completed the Raiders of the Lost Artifacts quest in record time, you've unlocked the treasure chest. Find it on the coast near the mysterious island. Oh, we should go ahead and go and see what is in that treasure chest. But the next quest that becomes available to us is the need for Steve, which is all of the stables and the horses and everything. So I will link that on the screen now once I've completed it. But let's go ahead and check out the treasure chest. It is over on the island. So from your Riches of Terror monument, it's just up here. Got a little icon above it. It's on like a little um, raft, a pirate raft thing. Cute. Let's go ahead and click. What do we get? So the mysterious iron treasure chest. Okay, so we've got a couple of items that we can use to upgrade our monument. We've got five LPs. 17,500 simoleons and 3,000 XP. So definitely something worth getting, I would say. So yeah, try and complete that quest within the time limit. And this is what you will win. So there you go. Nice. Oh, so that means that we can upgrade it again. Nice. Let's go ahead. Hang on. I've lost my bearings. Where am I? Here we are. Right, let's just go ahead and upgrade that now. So there we go, we've upgraded it to level two, have we, I think? Yeah. So there you go, guys, that completes this quest. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if it did help you. And as always, keep commenting down below who, which YouTubers you would like me to add to the town. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.